Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo, our Redwood Red Wolf National Park. And this is so exciting. Yes, these are not our red wolves, but look at these mammoths. I cannot believe how amazing they are. I really didn't know what to expect, but clearly these are some of the most beautiful animals we have ever had in Planet Zoo and I'm in love with them. And I'm so in love with them that my hope is that very soon we might start seeing some little mammoth babies. So far we haven't had any luck with that, but I'm hoping that Wakefield, our male over here, will soon potentially have some wonderful luck. Oh, oh, oh. Lenique is about to mate, yes! Okay, that's very exciting. I need to actually go ahead and start preparing our name list using a random generator to pick some of the names that you guys have left in our comment section before. Let's go ahead and see if we're gonna have any luck here. And while we wait, we'll go ahead and give these two some proper names. So, Wakefield, any luck? Oh man, I wonder if they just can't actually have babies. They should be able to have babies. I wanna see a baby mammoth. There should potentially probably be able to be a baby mammoth that can frolic. Can you think of how cute it would be if it was frolicking with these absolutely adorable little bison calves? Ooh, that's a really healthy bison calf, what the heck? Oh my gosh, he's like got really great genes. Look at him. Oh, okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start naming some of these guys again. So this is actually going to be Ollie. Named after Ollie! And Ollie, I'm so glad you're enjoying the wonderful surprise of being able to add in the mammoths. I really love how I made a little dig site and we worked- oh my word! Uh, and we worked on building the really cool interior for the Extinction Center because I think it looks amazing. I'm really proud about that. And Ollie, let me see. I've been trying to keep track of like the number of different... Okay, so Ollie, you would be number 10. Because I want to celebrate when we get to like a hundred of a certain species of animal because I think that would be a lot of fun. And then we also have another calf over here. So let me go ahead and rename her. And this is actually going to be Bio. Oh, Bio, Biologist TP. So I'm going to go ahead and name her. How about I name her Tio? There we go. Kind of combining TP and then Biologist. I'm so glad that you guys saw some like beautiful white tailed deer. Oh, I would really love to be able to see some deer around here. There are usually quite a few on the walk that Chips and I have because it's next to a small little park in our town um, that protects the deer. But we haven't seen any for quite a while, so hmm. Maybe they've gone elsewhere now that the season is changing and they want to be like warm and find food somewhere else. All right, and meanwhile, let's go ahead and name these mammoths. So let's see. We've got Fate. Fate, welcome. So you're going to be, I think, our second mammoth that we actually have. I'm going to be so proud when we have reached like a hundred mammoths. That would be really fantastic. Let's see. And then we're going to pull up the next name and we've got Anya. Anya, welcome. So you're going to be the third mammoth. I think, yeah, Anya's fertility is really good. And hopefully that means we can end up with having an actual like baby mammoth, but we'll have to see. Maybe you can't get baby mammoths, but we'll try. We will definitely try. And then this one's going to be Tiger, after Tiger Lion Paw. So Tiger the Woolly Mammoth, I love it. Welcome, welcome. And I think we're gonna need to hire a couple more biologists as well to come and work, or keepers, pardon me, to come and work in here. Cause suddenly there's like a lot of poo everywhere. And I imagine cleaning up after a mammoth is kind of like cleaning up after elephants and it's a little tricky to do. Let's see, what, do we ha what building do we have inside here? Let's see. Oh, dangerous fighting due to overcrowding. Oh dear, from the American bison. Oh, I totally forgot we had bison over here, you guys. I completely forgot we had the snow white bison herd. I feel so bad, oh my gosh. Uh, and then we have a male who we actually need to go ahead and release. All right, let me count these guys. Uh, I shouldn't have named them like one, three, four. I guess it, actually if we, give the individual numbers to the different bison then in different herds, then we can see how successful each different herd has been. <gasps> okay, that actually sounds pretty cool. All right, so one, three, four, we're missing two. We'll say this is five and then this girl is six. So we're gonna go ahead and have Bashiri. We're just gonna release him into the wild so that we won't have any fighting. 
And then we'll name this little female and give her the tag of being the sixth addition to the Snow White Bison Herd. I love that idea. So we're gonna name her Hen. Welcome, little Hen. Oh my gosh, that's a cute name. And she's gonna be the sixth addition to this herd. This herd's already increasing quite a bit in size. Uh, however, I think that as a result, social, their space is way too small. We need to increase the herd's space. That's actually really important to do like ASAP. And I don't think we can make it so guests can just like walk over their exhibit. Like, so I could give them this side either, unfortunately. So let's give this herd a little bit more space over on this side. Like that's actually as, as much as, well, we're waiting on baby mammoths. So it's not like we're wasting time <laughs> waiting on baby mammoths. Um, all right, I'm gonna need this. And then we're gonna try, okay, let's see. We'll try to extend their range. I made a ditch over here to prevent them from like leaving, but maybe I can make a small bridge and how to prevent them. Maybe we'll get some rocks. Yeah, we'll have maybe a rocky ledge kind of keep them in place and prevent them from like wandering over to the dam. Though over here, I wanna add in some beavers at some point that can interact with the lake. And I wanna be able to make it so guests can see the beavers. So I should probably curtail this side a little. All right. Yeah, we'll do that. And then the guests have to come up around. I think the bison herd, here, we'll make sure they have plenty of space over here. Yeah, the bison herd might come up this far. This kind of reminds me when Chips and I were in Yellowstone of the way that the elk could actually get really, really close um, up at the mammoth hot springs zone. There's just signs that are like, watch out for elk everywhere. And then there's legitimately just elk, wild elk, who literally roam right up to the doors of some of the hotel rooms. And it's because it's their space. And so you're supposed to just be really respectful of their space. And we just were so cracked up by seeing all of those signs though. <laughs> all right, we want, I want windows. There we go on all this so we can see through it. And then let's put some nice rocks over here to prevent escapees. In fact, maybe I can just like, oh wait, is that, oh, I see. Okay, here, there. And then we'll get some of these yellow stony looking rocks put in. Very nice, very nice. I don't want, I don't want all these plants. Not just yet. All right, and we'll have a conveniently located pile of boulders. Oh dear. All right, need to put a little bit more boulders in there. All right, and Libby, oh dear. All right, we need to take care of the white-tailed deer as well. But I need just a moment so I can get down in here. And it's these savannah rocks. The red desert rocks are really pretty too, but the savannah rocks are a little closer. What, what rock is this? It's the desert rocks, got it. Yeah, the desert rocks are a little bit closer in coloration to the rocks that we saw while we were in Yellowstone. So we'll use these. Okay, and then let's go down. Excellent. And this makes me happy to get the Snow White herd a little bit more space. Hmm. I wonder how I can try to make this look a little nicer. When in doubt, plant tape! <laughs> Because I want it maybe to look a little bit more like a cliff that actually would be here. Hmm. All right, let me give that a little bit of thought. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Nice. All right. Hmm. Oh, I hear the wolves howling very faintly in the distance. Very cool. All right, all right. That should be good. Let's go ahead and we're going to actually come in. Edit the barrier. We're going to remove these pieces, so now they should have a bigger zone, and we'll move this chunk. There we go. And I think that that should actually count so that they can be quite happy and begin to move away. Hmm. Animal has escaped. 
Oh. <laughs> the baby just managed to go ahead and like get into the ditch. Okay, well, I may need to make it so that the ditch is a little deeper, but the other bison don't seem to have that problem. All right, do they have... Oh, look at all the space! Yay! So now the bison feel much happier because they've got a bunch of space. That's wonderful. And Tio is about to mature. She's a female. So I think what we'll do is we'll move Tio over. Oh, if we start moving the herds around. Here. That'll change, like, the number of Tio. She was 11, and now she's going to be 7. That's going to be so confusing. However, I might stick to it just because it seems a little interesting. All right, Tio. You were 11, my dear. And now you're going to be Tio 7. Because she's going to be in the Snow White herd. Hopefully you only have to move them once. We'll see. Alright, and the baby has been returned! Hen, good job! You've returned to your family. Alright. So, let's see, let's see. Meanwhile, the Eastern Chitlunks, I need to sort out! <laughs> oh my goodness. How are our mammoths? <gasps> Offspring do! Offspring do! Yes! Oh, see? While we were happily occupied working on other things, the mammoths went and have surprised us. Oh, this is way too big. Yeah, this is probably too big for this area, to be honest. I should probably just build, build another one. This is actually kind of nice. All right, let's put this in here. But while we were busy and distracted trying to, like, expand this herd's area, we had some excellent luck because the bison went ahead and had... Or, the uh, mammoths went ahead and got pregnant, which is wonderful. Maybe I could do, like, a little forest over here? This just looks like a good spot. I actually don't need this part to be all windows. There we go. None. Yeah, this just looks like a good spot for the bison to be able to come and maybe people to be able to have a little picnic over here. Speaking of picnics, did you guys know that very shortly we're actually going to be having restaurants added into Planet Zoo, which I'm so excited about. I can't wait to see how that actually works out. All right, meanwhile. All right, guys, what do you want for your terrain? A little more soil. Let's put some soil down instead of the long grass over here. It's all going to be snow at the moment, but let's do short grass as well. The long grass can just look a little bit silly sometimes. Put in more soil. I can understand the bison really enjoying the soil because when we were in Yellowstone, one of the things that was the most fascinating to see was the bison mud holes. Like they, they would have these little holes in the ground. Let's see if I can mimic it just right. It wasn't very deep, but they would have like these little, little indents. Yeah, just like this. And what this is, is where they would do some dust bathing. And that's just where they would be comfy. And you would just see the land was pockmarked with these holes. And it made me really intrigued just to see the big effect that the bison ended up having on the ecosystem around them. All right, there we are. Wonderful! And then, oh no, an animal died! <gasps> Timothy the Canadian Goose! <gasps> no, right next to his nest! Oh, don't be this way, Timothy! Oh, you're, you're gone! Oh, my Timothy! Oh dear. Gosh, that nest looks really cool. Oh jeez, we suddenly have- we have a huge gaggle of geese! <laughs> Why have I not been maintaining this? There's a lot happening over here! <laughs> Alright, let's see. Water treatment definitely needs, like, mechanic- urgently assigned please that thing's sparking um and meanwhile like how are our geese are they doing good gosh i love them they need more enrichment food and toy enrichment social group is fine can we improve the meal quality for our fantastic geese i love being able to have oh we can't yet what has somebody can i do some research about them let's see I could have sworn I assigned my researchers to do research about them, but maybe you just can't improve the mill quality. Because I've assigned lots of researchers on these guys. 
But maybe there's just not research that can be done on the geese geese, which would make me really sad because I love them. Look at the little babies! Oh, this is fantastic. Not fantastic about poor Timothy. I'm gonna miss him. I guess we could name a lot of these. Oh, geez. That, oh, that was just the two of them. Oh my gosh. Okay, no wonder. All right, I think I need to go ahead. We're gonna put all of the contraceptives on all of the animals. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and try to pick out, like, the healthiest geese and see if they're related. And we'll let those ones breed. So, let's look at the geese. In fact, let's narrow this down. This is responsible zoo management, after all. Alright, appeal. The highest. So, Zafani here, one of our females, is doing really good. Um, and I don't think she- is she gonna be related to Jacob? Because Jacob- he's nine, though. Hmm. Yeah, Jacob... Maybe not? Zafani, let's go ahead and have a look at you, my dear. Alright, where is she? Okay. So she's somewhere in here, one of the babies. And there she is! Alright, so here's the little one. And she... Wow. Yeah, she's related to all of these geese. <laughs> we just have like a ton of geese. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe I do need to deal with the goose and the gander situation going on here. Uh, let's see. Ink, Emily. Maybe I'll let some of the adults go. Let's do that. I think it's time for them to fly the coop, friends. So we're going to grab our Canadian geese. And anybody who has basically low appeal, let's see, low appeal, there we go. And I'm just deciding on the ones that have like adult, who are adults and they have low appeal. So let's see. Which basically, anybody silver and below, we will allow to, or like bronze and below, we'll allow to fly the coop. And then I'll allow some of the extra males to potentially fly the coop as well. Hmm. Maybe? You know what, we'll go ahead and we'll we'll have a few more of them go. Not the, the gold quality one though. Alright guys! To the wild! Ooh, that's a lot of good points actually. <laughs> They've flown the coop, friends! I, but let's go ahead and then see if we can find ourselves a new goose goose. Because I really want to get more Canadian geese in here. On the quail! <gasps> There's so many more different animals that we can focus on. I'm so excited. Alright, so let's go ahead. Refresh that list. And we have a new female. And a new male we could potentially add in. Well, I want to get... You know what? We'll go ahead and we'll grab this guy. He's a custom seizure. Somebody was trying to sneak a goose out of the country. For what nefarious purposes, we can only ponder. Alright. Actually, that was really good at farming some of the conservation credits. So, maybe we'll have another goose pond. Because <laughs> I love the, go the geese. They're just so much fun. Look! And our bison are so happy! They've got more room to roam around now. We're starting to make a nice little spot for them. I love it. Alright, maybe we'll even come over. And before I forget about this place for who knows how long, let's make some North American grassland taiga plants. There we go. Oh, caribou moss is probably pretty pretty accurate. Let me think. Cowberry bushes really would be perfect, though. Oh, I love the automatic rotation on the plants. It still makes me so happy. It does not fail to satisfy, that's for sure. Maybe a Douglas fir tree or two? I feel like a lot of the plants... Oh yeah, like these trees are kind of a good representative of the tall pine trees. Here, these guys might do as well. That uh, we would see everywhere around Yellowstone. And what was really cool was they were missing patches where the bison had, or bears at times, had rubbed up against them to kind of like get at the scratches and itches that they had. There's a really cool video of it on the National um, Park, Yellowstone Park's Instagram actually. But 
we saw all of these spots where like a chunk of the bark would be missing because it was actually the bison rubbing up against it so that they could go ahead and scratch it like an itch or something. Ooh, and there was a place that had a bunch of beautiful quaking aspen. Oh, I'll have to think about adding that in too. All right, yay, and a new goose has arrived. Let's go ahead and we're gonna give him a new name. And this one is actually going to be, let's see. Let's see, let's see. We're gonna go with, hmm. Actually, we'll name, I kept rolling to try to get a male name. Can't really, so we're actually gonna come over and we're gonna grab little Zophany, whose name is kind of amazing. And we're gonna rename her to Catherine. Catherine, welcome. You know what, on the geese, we're just not gonna count the number of geese because there's so many of them. <laughs> but I'm glad to see that the, the goose pond has thrived. I really want to add more goose ponds and other of the ducks and animals in. <gasps> no, Sloth the Red Fox is about to die of old age. Oh my gosh, no. Oh, but he looks so happy. Oh my word, that's so pretty. You guys, what? Oh, wow. We have got to spend more time with our red foxes, especially in the middle of winter, because this is just gorgeous. What on earth? Sloth, wow. A moment, a moment with Sloth as we have a little peek at the secrets hiding in our zoo. Ah, but all right guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our fantastic adventures here in the Redwood Red Wolf National Park. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.